Good morning. Time to seize the day. Um, a day in life doesn't really exist on YouTube anymore, so screw it. Why not? I'm doing one. Good morning. I've woken up. I'm fresh. I'm clean. I'm moisturized. Today, I actually have a free day, so it's actually just me and you. There's gonna be a lot of chatting shit, to be honest. First things first, I need breakfast, because breakfast is breaking fast, because I haven't eaten for around 15 hours. Nah, that's a lie. Let's say 13 hours. I had dinner at 10 p.m. last night, and guess what it was? Pesto pasta with bacon bits. Yeah. But I make it bougie, though, obviously. You know, I have a little bit of cream. I got a little bit of, uh... That's actually it. I, that's the way I spice it up, to be honest. By the way, guys, I still do have a roommate. There she is. Yep, she hasn't left me just yet. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I do seem like a load of half the time in this flat, but I do actually still have a roommate. We've been living together for like a year and a half now. How crazy. Time flies when I'm fun. <clears throat> Testing one, two, three. We're on the mini mic, guys. On our way to Sainsbury's. Love Sainsbury's. The GOAT. My favorite supermarket. Sainsbury's sponsors me. Perfect avocado on toast. Has to be a mushy avo. Not quite mushy, but it's literally about to go brown. Here's our selection. This one, you see? See my thumb going in. One pound ten, ripe and ready. You wouldn't get that at the breakfast club. To spice things up a little bit. Cherry tomato on top. Don't bash it. Get your fucking five a day in. Come on. So yeah, straight my basket. Third component, bread. I love a ciabatta. Ciabatta rules over all. Nice 50-50 crunch and softness. And it's fresh from the bakery this morning. Oh, she was looking busty. And last but not least, I don't want to hear that I coriander. All people who say it tastes soapy, you're naturally selected. Get a grow. This is the main component, the whole entire thing. Because avocado and toast go from a 2 to a 10, easily. At the end of the day, you are just eating nothingness on bread. Don't with yourself, does avocado even have a taste? No, though. So, coriander, straight in my basket. And just to spike my sugar levels this morning, I'm going to go with a juice. I think I'm going to go for very set go. And look at that, mate. £6.92. That would be at least 15 in your local calf. So bosh. Money saving expert. And I I just want to give bonus points to everyone who doesn't buy a bag. Saving the planet. Also, I'll work out. I literally had a dream the other day that I had to like re-enroll in morning school and I literally was doing it like literally like as if I was doing uni but I was in school and I was like fuck yeah, it's like I can milk the content again and um yeah, I woke up. And I was also pregnant in that dream as well, which is a bit weird. I don't know what happened but I didn't like it. So no kids are coming out of this hoo-ha anytime soon. Unless the views start going down, that's what you know. This is my day off because this is like one of those days where like I don't have events, you know, I don't have anything to do. It's more like just like a chill day. This is like a Sunday. Sometimes I actually think it's quite unrealistic and like unrelatable to trying to like film stuff like influencer events and stuff like that. It's obviously interesting but one once I film that as many times as I can, then obviously it's gonna get boring, isn't it? So I'm trying to switch up the content. And we'll make an avocado toast. <laughs> I'm so original, I know. Such a relatable queen. You know what? Get yourself a roommate who supports <laughs> you every step of the way. <laughs> Fucking delicious. Taste test. Mm. You didn't even need a damn sound effect for that one. That was pure and raw and real. And the coriander, chef's kiss. Should we talk about insecurities? <laughs> I like was struggling with my skin for so long. Thank God for me doing my research. My skin has gone so much better and I've got a new insecurity. Guess what? My hair. From your point, you might be like, oh, okay, it's cute, it's short. I didn't cut it this short for fashion. I want my hair to be below tip. It's just thinning. Thinning out a lot. I think it's because of bleach. I'm trying not to bleach my hair. So as you can see, roots coming through. I think I'm getting a root blend, but like, I'm just, oh, I'm not stressed about it. Like, I think sometimes I get like really down about it and it actually pisses me off. Cause like, I've realized that like, face card can do so much, but hair card, <laughs> you gotta put effort into that, you know? I was just supposed to book in an extension appointment again. Get my tapes back in, but then I'm like, no, I should start my healthy hair care journey. I actually will. charcoal right now. Look at that. Anyways, I'm gonna get on my breakfast and send some emails and stuff and then I'll get back to you. I thought I'd let you guys know the secret that I am a fraud. Just came back from the Maldives. So look, I've just come back from the Maldives. Uh, no. But you know what it does? This. It's basically like fake tan on my face. It doesn't break me out either. I'm gonna go on a Mincy Bee walk. I kind of want to do like 10k today. Is that gonna happen? Probably not. But at least I'll get my legs moving. Get some fresh pollution into my lungs. Big up London. See, so literally, you can already see that I'm already looking tanner. Peaches and cream, sun tint. My whole life been changed, genuinely. Mental health walk. Let's go.
mic'd up again. I'm on my mental health walk. I'm breathing in the fresh breath air of London. I think my prefrontal cortex has developed. Talking to my roommate about this morning and she laughed at me. <laughs> and you know what? Valid. Because I laugh at myself too. I'm 24 years of age. It's actually meant to develop when you're 25. And you know why? It's because I rationalise more things. As you can tell, I'm not much of a party girl anymore. I could barely go out in Australia. Like, it's not like I didn't enjoy it. Like, sometimes I start drinking, I'm just like, fuck this. This is long. It's kind of boring, to be honest. And I don't club as much because it's just like, I don't know, it's not really my thing. And it used to be my thing. My whole entire brand used to be around partying. Can't even do two nights in a row anymore. <laughs> I'm so weak and fragile. And also, I care about my health a lot. And if I want to get deep about it, I will get deep because it's me and you just here right now, right? I have alcoholism, which actually runs my family. Um, my dad was an alcoholic. Now he's sober. Big up, Keith. He's been sober for 10 years now, and I'm so proud of him. Alcoholism isn't genetic, but there is always the worry that it's like passed down as an addictive personality trait. I can't think of anything worse, actually worse than drinking every single day. It's not my thing. My hangover's getting rife. Mental health's out the window the next day. I just really doubt myself. Not as confident, puffy, bloated. Don't feel really good. I did go sober for a whole month, November last year, and it was amazing. I felt so good. And now I just like really just choose a moments to drink. Also, I was gonna talk about, I don't take shit from nobody now. <laughs> I actually don't. My patience has worn thin. That's also why I think my brain has developed. It's because before I used to be such people pleaser but i'm like nah actually i'm gonna stand up for myself stand up for my rights yeah don't try and cross me because i got bite now anyways i love these mini mics so much they're so cool they're so fun comment down below if you think i should start a mini mic series with me chatting shit because i will because i got a lot to say to be honest i guess i'm cocky in april because i'm like oh it's april obviously i can wear a mini skirt fuck me no what are you doing mate don't do that yesterday you could see my nipples through my jacket it wasn't a good look met madison beer the other day <laughs> that was a movie you know i've been like literally supporting madison beer since i was 15 years old i've been there since melodies <laughs> and i told her that as well i said by the way i've been there since melodies i love your stuff she was like oh my god i appreciate that so much i was like shut up also i've been there since the jack and jack era but we didn't talk about that because that wasn't a good relationship was it man sorry babe but anyways i'm gonna listen to my ew it's so cringe to say i'm gonna listen to my liquid drum bass and my headphones i am that fucking raw dotty tune girl aren't i i fucking look like one of those well, I, want. I would love to have a pet dog right now anyways <laughs> See you guys later. Do you guys like my new frame? Cool, right? I know. It's satire, by the way. But it, whenever I do look at it, I do think, fuck, let's go get to work. Got some gummies. Woo! Hair, skin, and nail gummies. These were 24 pounds. <laughs> Flipping heck. It's either I buy shit like this or I get extensions. All right? I think that this is probably the better thing to do. Ooh, nice. Oh, like wine gums. Oh, fuck me, yeah, chewy. Oh my god. Tastes nice, though. Just like cherry. But it's chewiness. It's getting everything in my teeth. If it's like my armpits and leg hair grow longer, I'm out of here. Anyways, I just got a package in the mail from Motel. So let's do a try and haul. Wow, I'm just gonna try and haul on YouTube for a fucking hot minute. Welcome. What do we think of them? They're roomy. Kissy. Most of Rock's jeans are actually my go-to at the moment. I'm not gonna lie to you. They're so fucking comfy. It feels like someone else has worn them before me. Do you get me? Also, I love a low rise. Back in the olden days, I'd be like, there's no fucking way I'm ever wearing a low rise. And I would wear jeans up to here. Not anymore, mate. I fucking love these. Bosh. That is so cute. I'm getting into my cutesy summer dress girly era. There's just something about the combo, but the skirt is so cute. That's gonna be gorgeous for summer. Darker jean moment. Stitching through sweet as well. Okay. Wait, there you go. There's the moment. Belt distracts from the non-existent waist and it's a cute little bodycon. Also, off the shoulder moments always just so fucking sweet. <coughs> Welcome to my bed. Um, okay, it sounds like a weird intro, but bear with me. Oh, I've got tech neck. I'll put my hands up and say it. Soft pillows. Is there any back support on that? <laughs> Definitely not, mate. So that's where Emma comes in. Here she is, an Emma pillow. I was already excited. I already opened it up. Anyways, so I just want to say thank you to Emma for sponsoring the video. I have got the original pillow here. Oh, and the original pillow is memory foam. Due to the firmness of the pillow, it allows your back to stay upright throughout the night. Boom. I'm already sorting out my posture. And also the covers are changeable, so you can literally wash them whenever you want. And on the inside, there are three layers, so you can adjust the height to your preference. If you're feeling like your neck's going, you can take one out or take two out, whatever you prefer. And also, as you guys know, on my hair care and skincare journey, I'm going to be putting on silk satin pillowcase. It's meant to really help with your skin and hair for breakage and breakouts. Oh, look at that. Let's mess around and do a pillow test. Right. Oh, wow. Oh my God, I can feel my head sinking. It feels amazing. My spine already feels resurrected. Let's talk about Emma's brand promises. They got up to a 200 night trial. So you can trial these pillows out for 200 nights. If you don't like them, you can send them back. Free delivery and returns. Up to a 10 year guarantee. I'll be 34 in 10 years. My babies will be seeing these pillows. I also do 0% finance if you want to do divide buy, where you basically pay in installments. Where you can separate the cost over three to 12 months. And this is where I come in because I'm your friend and I love to give you guys discounts. Until the 1st of May, Emma is having a spring sale, which means up to 40% off. 
I'm gonna put a link to the discount code in my description where it'll give you 5% off, which goes on top of all the discounts which are already on the website. The code's only valid for the UK, Ireland, and the US. So it's a perfect time to upgrade your sleep, because I'm about to. And yeah, thank you so much, Ever Sleep, for sponsoring this video. Here's the best sleeping people. Okay, I put on a full face that fake tan because you know what? I have plans. Look a little bit orange. But also, this is how I look when I'm tanned. I personally think I need to wear in my new jeans and obviously wear them out for the first time. So I'm actually gonna go see my old boarding school buddies <laughs> for dinner. I haven't seen them in ages. Lucy Munden, my flipping roommate. I'm seeing her and also my other friend Maddie. I don't really know what to go. Like, what do I wear? I think I'm gonna go so really, 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 really chill. What do we think? I mean, it's just, it's casual. I used K18, the leave-in conditioner today, and my hair feels so soft. It's gorgeous. I brush my eyebrows in place, and then we're gonna scale our way onto the tube because I don't need to drive. So it's good because I've walked the tube, getting my body moving. Um, you know how I said I was gonna do 10K steps? Yeah, that didn't happen, did it? Literally went to Boots and back, <laughs> which is around half a mile. So, brilliant. So, I lied, I'm in the car. What about it? Anyways, you guys wanna hear my new favorite songs? Of course you fucking do. You've been It's just a little bit of liquid drum bass. I feel like this type of music is like my favorite music ever. This is a song that got me through getting back from Australia to the UK. Love that is the fittest thing I've ever heard. Memorize the lyrics and fucking belt it at the top of your lungs. Heartbreak pure. I'm obsessed with Tate McRae. I'm seeing Tate McRae in concert next month. This month? Oh my god, in like two weeks. I'm so excited. I've actually memorized her album back to front. Just wait till I make it home. Maybe I should try religion. Cause Jesus, you're hard to rely on. Now my Tommy hurts. He's in love with her. But for what it's worth, they make beautiful babies. Oh. My God, what the hell is happening? <laughs> He's just so small. Hello. Oh, say hi. 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 Oh. We got the band back together. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's been a hot minute, lads, hasn't it? We've got a new member of the family. Mama. Look at his little tummy. I need to have a big whiff of him. Yeah, you, you know, do. like a puppy, huh? puppy, like, smells you know, puppy like smell. They're like, it's the like best smell. It's like a baby, but a puppy. It almost smells better. Puppy oh smells better, yeah, no offense. Oh. You're joking. <laughs> Look at his little, little thing. Baby therapy. Look at the puffer jacket. <laughs> I'm getting the perfect photography. You're so good. You're doing so well. <laughs> oh my god. He loves it. Hey babe. <laughs> <laughs> you need a side eye. Yeah, I'll get out of the camera. Cute. You got one job, not to shit in Kate's flat. What the Look fuck? How cute it is. Oh yeah, he's so cute. Shut on my <laughs> floor, mate. <laughs> and you know what? He just did it. Blatantly. I've had two dogs shit my house now. <laughs> And you're the second sauce dog it is, which is very peculiar and very unusual, but it's happened twice. So these are the current vibes. We're making a bang bang prawn. This little fuck face is actually, I don't even know, it's being chaotic. See, what's he doing? What's he doing? <laughs> oh, you're just so diddy, you're just so diddy. Ouchie. God, puppies have razor sharp teeth. I'm the nutritionist, thank you very much for the bang bang prawn. What the hell are you looking at, mate? <laughs> Lucy literally just had to take a Periton because of the dog. I'm, I'm allergic. <laughs> She's allergic. You make me ill. Oh my god, he doesn't mean it though. He doesn't mean it. He's just so oh. naive and so small. Oh, just baby. He's just a baby. How do you know what it sounds Technically, like? Technically, we're on. Big bite? Uh, uh. Wait, so how loud is this? <laughs> it's so loud! <laughs> oh, oh. You took a out <laughs> Welcome to Mike's Up. Also, if you shout too much, it really is shouty. Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> 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 it was all wet! Can introduce yourself? <laughs> Oops! <laughs> this is Madeline. Hello. Reg. Whoa! Whoa! And this is Lucy. Hello. Let's talk about boarding school. <laughs> Best time of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely life changing. That's what it was. <laughs> the crickets. Um, <laughs> but let's just lay it lay it down straight. Me, Lucy, and Maddie were actually the like the first trio. Well, it was me and you. Oh yeah, to be fair, I mean, and me then, and Maddie. But you were roommates. And yeah, Lucy we were, and they were roommates. Me. Sorry. Me, Lucy was mean to me. Oh. Yeah, I'll say it. Wait, why was I mean? Because one time I washed your makeup brushes and you were like, they ain't washed enough. <gasps> I was like, oh my god, what a bitch. <laughs> 
week and i was like oh. Fuck. you have besties you had the drama club and i was like stop it. i wouldn't say you're mean to me to be fair i was just an insecure little girl I don't remember how I, how I i'm horrible <laughs> no. i came into room and i was like can i come watch some youtube videos with you <laughs> and, we watched, and you <laughs> made me watch everything. like two hours of dumpster diving <laughs> <laughs> That's so niche. Sorry. But then we became a three. Um, I think we all have very different dynamics. That's probably where we got so oh, well. So different. Maddie and Kate by themselves are like <laughs> dumber and dumbest. <laughs> I feel what like me you? and you are enablers. We enable each other. Yeah. And we're you like, two, like you're like, hey, what you're doing is so fine. Then I'll be like, I'll come in and be like, <laughs> no, yeah, get fucking them. Crazy. Yeah. Like every single thing I was doing in boys school, which is like a little bit sneaky. You were literally like, no. Nope. But no, then there was me that like time when I caught you coming back down the hallway and you pretended to be on the phone with your dad. <laughs> And I was like, don't you even try. In our room, we were all like love and cozy. We're all great. And then Maddie would be like, right, bitches. Yeah, right. You need a reality check. Like, Whenever we had a rebellious moment, it wasn't you two having it. It would be me, which made me feel probably I was the one that made you do it. Oh my God. Like when we got drunk and then when we went in the one woods of my and smoked some cigarettes. What? I remember sneaking off and I felt like the baddest bitch yeah. in town. And then we got drunk. You and me and Lucy got really cross with No, us. me, you and Hannah. I was we were drinking our free formal stuff because we had like oh we got water bottles full of vodka let's have some now and we started rising around the forest being like oh, and, I, <laughs> and i literally came out i've been at like rehearsals all evening and i came back to the house like what <laughs> what's going on here yeah. like, remember i went down okay well i went to a boys room i remember i came back up and you guys were like the house master came out for you Really mean yeah, me. and I was like, oh my what? God, was I was so like, scared. tell everyone I'm in the fucking shower. <laughs> <laughs> I ran the shower. Oh my God, you did. Yeah, and then you guys came in the shower room and you knocked my door. You're like, we were joking. <laughs> What's the most scandalous thing we did in boys' school? We boys, probably. In we just did boys. <laughs> just boys. I, I just boys. Do boys. I didn't do yes. boys in boys' school either. I wasn't huh? doing boys. Sorry? Come on, practice rooms. Rooms. I never slept with anyone in boys' school, ever. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Ew. <laughs> Jesus, we just stop. <laughs> <laughs> What's the biggest misconception about boarding school? That no one wants to be there. That it's like, like <laughs> it's like hell. It's on like earth. a hell on earth. It actually can be quite fun. Yeah. I was gonna say it's more for, like really rich people, but like some people came in in like helicopters, so it wasn't exactly. Montclair jackets, yeah. like Louis oh Vuitton bags. Do you guys? I don't know if you saw the TikTok of um, it had like a list of like the twenty top expensive. Mm schools in the country we and, and we were fit no do you know what is the most expensive it is brighton college yeah oh. it's like 65 pounds wait <laughs> <laughs> You're probably not far off. It's five pounds per breath. Yeah. yeah. What was the worst thing about boarding school? I hated it at the start. I hated it at the start too. Like, it took me like a good three months to warm up. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. Like, two weeks. I tried to go a day. Yeah, you did. Both of them lived like plus an hour away from boarding school. I live twenty minutes away. <laughs> yeah. And so I was given a jump. Yeah. So it felt a bit more for me. Like the fuck am I doing here? Every night? <laughs> yeah. I could well, literally I'm be doing. at home. Yeah. But I remember at the start, I was doing full face every. Every yeah, you day. were doing B uh, and like, and yeah. but like, Kate. Oh my god, the fact that you thought I was mean to you breaks my heart because Kate would oh. like stand. No, I hate, hate like, that. I, I hate that. You I was like, that oh, fuck on my life. Like, <laughs> she literally stood there already with her rucksack on and just like stand there waiting for me to finish <laughs> my fucking makeup. And like, oh my god, I was terrible. No, I don't. It's and you it's like, like, you can fucking wait, then. <laughs> I was like, she hates me. <laughs> I'm a teacher's pet though. Oh, yeah. So like, I want to be early. I want to be like, on yeah. Time. Like, my worst thing about boarding school was defo the, the bubbleness of it. Like, it was mm. such like, if you had drama, everyone would know. You come into breakfast, everyone would stare at you. It was fucking awkward. Everyone's coming from all around, everywhere. Yeah. And you live in each other's back pockets for years, right? Mm. And you're like, oh my god, we're best friends, and like everything's amazing and lovely and gooey and soft. <laughs> <laughs> and then you leave, and then everyone just goes back to where they were and no one lives close so. that's also the beauty of it though because it brings so many mm. people that you'd never ever come across in your normal life together, together. i like that i'm very calm when you said that oh thanks that's really <laughs> beautiful though <clears throat> get me on your audio books to get to sleep with um, I would definitely not. <laughs> I would ruin everyone's sleep schedules. <laughs> Can you imagine hearing my voice? <laughs> my makeup. We all have to give one piece of advice for people struggling with homesickness. Yeah, we grow up. <laughs> <laughs> and that is Maddie in a nutshell. Yeah. Aww. We've actually yeah. grown up together, guys. Uh, I mean, yeah. we haven't actually seen we've each other in a year. Don't, but we've had our falling out. Oh. Especially you and me. Oh. We haven't had falling out, but you and me have had no. falling out. And I'm not going to lie, I was right. <laughs>
<laughs> Even though we haven't seen each other for ages and we should have definitely seen each other sooner. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. We have individually grown as people. Oh, yeah. Like in the space that we've had, not with each other. But then when we come back together, we're always like kind of the same. But like we're also yeah. adjusting to who we are now. Yeah. Which is really cute. I know. And like, I mean, like, I think by now we would have known if we've grown out of each other. <laughs> oh my God. Let's yell. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm grateful for you guys. It. Grateful Aww. for you guys. That's nice. Okay. We're not really huggy friends. <laughs> That's um, what he does when he's too tired. <laughs> and like red, just had a hard day. Thank you so much guys for joining us. Um, it's been a movie. This is Maddie and Lucy. Thank Yours you. truly. Thank Big you. Big up Iron Apple 2018. <laughs> this has um, been mic'd up. Do I, Iron Apple 2025. Oh, 2025. No, no. I'm not going back to that place. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. Oh, I died.